Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix uh, issue related to the Stripe when I got uh, related to the, your payment intent ID. So uh, actually Stripe has changed the payment intent ID process uh, in a new version. So you can say that if you if you have a line items, line item options, session line items and if you want to create a service on the basis of the line items like that options and we have some options like line item payments and uh, you can see that option session create options line items more successful urls everything is everything is correct but you notice that your payment intent id is wrong or you can say that is null so just login into the system first of all and you can see um, like that and just uh, after that just go for your cards and like that just I want to add it add to cart and finally just go for $120 like phone number is this pick up date is like that uh, pick up time is 1230 okay just plus order and you will notice that when if we have the service so um, just go for the step over and you can notice that your yeah, session is created successfully and but notice that your payment id your payment intent id is null here your payment intent id is null because the checkout session is not completed because just check uh, you can see that here we have a checkout session but checkout session is not completed right now so if uh, if your checkout session is completed then you can uh, then you then you can store your payment intent id okay so uh, just close from here just you can see so the session id is created right now okay because the session id is created and uh, you can see that here we have a session id like that there will be there we have a session id so just remove the payment intent id from here you can notice that just payment intent id just removed from here and you can say just order is successful if order id is generated then you can say that uh, or you can check uh, the payment status is paid if the payment status is paid then you can say that uh, your order is approved on that time you have to create a session 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 service dot get order header dot session id by, by using the session id you just got the payment intent id so you can check this by using this line of code so just uh, just create it here and again just i uh, run your project again and you will see that your session id is created so after the uh, session is completed you can say that your uh, payment intent id is created so after that you have to change your uh, order header the payment intent id so wait for some time so i will uh, cure your problem okay and just go for the card and just go for this and here we have like that like that pick up time it's 12 and okay your session is created continue and you will go for your uh, if you go for your uh, man stripe accounts and here we have like that a checkup card information and one two three and here we go oops state is new york state is oops on the basis mm, let's see at the state Okay. it's a dummy data actually 
So just process it first of all. Yeah, successfully processed, and you will notice that your Visual Studio is debugged, and you can say that your mm, your uh, order status is pending. You can notice that, but the send, uh, session is like that, and after that, you will notice that your payment intent ID is like that. There is a payment intent ID. So just continue that process and you will notice that your order, uh, your transaction is successful and your order ID is 15. Now just go for your order and uh, you will notice that here we have lots of order. So details, not there. So just close it and go for the admin account. So here we have some admin account. Okay, and just go for orders. And here we have the approved orders like that. And $120 like that. And here we have the payment intent ID. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.